The index of refraction is a ratio of the speed of light through empty space, which we know to be 3 times 10 to the 8th meters per second, compared to its speed through a transparent medium, such as water, or mineral oil, or glycerin. In this series of lessons, I'm going to consider the index of refraction of air to be approximately equal to that of empty space, namely 1. But in general, indices of refraction are either 1 or greater than 1. There is, as far as we know, no such thing as an index of refraction less than 1, because that would mean that light would travel faster than light travels, which doesn't make any sense. Snell's law relates the index of refraction of the incident medium and the index of refraction of the refracting medium with the incident and refracted angles. This imaginary line called the normal is the reference point that we use when we are measuring the value of the incident angle and the refractive angle. So we measure all angles relative to this imaginary line called the normal, not relative to the surface. His mind occupations of worth Improved navigation and measured the earth He gave us the sign law, that wonderful guy And he made more precise calculation of pi Singing in one sine theta sub one hey 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 Equals n two sine theta sub two hip hooray So if you wear glasses or like to fry ants, be grateful your lenses were not made by chance. Astronomers hail him with each newfound star. Microscopists toast him from each sleazy bar. Singing in one sine theta sub one hey 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 equals n two sine theta sub two hip hooray. We prefer Villabrort, Van Roy, and Snell. He laid down the law and he did it darn well. Singing N1 sine theta sub 1 hey 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 equals N2 sine theta sub 2 hip hooray. The index of refraction is the ratio of the speed of light through a vacuum compared to its speed of light through some transparent medium. Because light propagates at its highest speed through a vacuum, indices of refraction are usually greater than one, unless the light is traveling through empty space, or something very nearly empty space. Snell's law expresses the relationship between the incident and refractive angles and the indices of refraction at a boundary. You'll want your calculator in degree mode when using Snell's law.